Welcome back aliens, this is Noivin Reddy from Talisco Learnings and in this video we will talk about hash map, hash table. Okay, we will also talk about linked hash map and then we will talk about map interface. So let's start with it. Now let's imagine you, you want to create a phone book, so an application which look like phone book. So in this we have, we have two things, right? We have list of names and we have list of numbers, right? So we want to map a number with a name. So let's imagine you know about array list. So in one array list, we can have list of string, right? So we can have names there and we can have name of the list of numbers. Time being, let's keep the phone number as string. Okay, so what we can do, we can create two array list, one for numbers and second for names, right? So just imagine we have two array list here, one with numbers, uh, one with names and second with numbers. And now you can map. So we have some names here. So we have Naveen, we have Pooja, we have Ali, we have Mahesh, we have Archana. So we have all these names, right? And with those names, we have numbers. So with the name, so for, for a particular name, we have a particular number, right? But what if, if I remove one of the name in between? So as soon as I remove a name, so the other names will go up, right? So we have a mismatch for the other, the remaining elements in there. And that's why, Array list, creating two array lists for a phone book is not that suitable. Why we require a name is because to recognize the number, right? So in your, fo in your uh, phone book of your mobile phone, why we have a name so that we can search the number, right? So when you have this type of relationship where you need an element for the, which will act as a key for the value, right? So your number is the value and your name is the key. To search a number, you require a key, right? So uh, instead of using array list, we can use something called map interface. So using map, you can you can have uh, you can have two values. In fact, two things. One will be key, and second will be value. So this is how it looks. So we have map in which you have to specify two things: the key and the uh, value, right? And again, we have to use generics to specify what type of key and what type of value you have. So in our example, both are string, but it may be integer, it may be float, anything you want. And in this, if you want to add values, so you have to use a method called as put. So using put, you can assign two values. One is the key and second will be the value, right? So which is your value key and value pair. Now each entry in the map, so let's say if you're entering Naveen and the phone number, so that one thing is called as one entry. Okay, because in map interface, we also have an interface called entry interface, which will hold one entry. Again, we'll talk about that later. So we have a map and the entry interface. But the problem is map is the interface, right? How can you create? How can you create the object of interface? Of course, that's not possible, right? So we have to search for a class which implements map. And we have four classes which implement map. In fact, we have, I guess, yeah, we have, we have four classes. So the first class we have is hash map. Then we have hash table. Then we have a tree map, a tree hash map. So we have tree hash map. And then we have linked hash map. Okay, so let's start with the first one. We have hash map here. So using hash map, you can create the object of map and you can add the elements, right? That's simple. Now question arises: how to, so how to add values? We can simply say m dot put. You can pass two values, one, two, two things. One will be the key and second is value. So Nabin is the key. My, my mobile number is the value. So let's say if I say Pooja is the name, mobile number. So that's, that's the value, right? So the key and the value pair. So let's say you have added all the values. So you have five values there. Now question arises: how to print these values. In case of array list, we can simply specify the index number and you will get the name, right? But the problem is with, with map, you need something extra. To fetch the value, we need a key, right? So let's imagine I want to fetch the number of puja. For that, I have to pass the key as puja, right? So in map, we have a method called as get. So we have to say map object. Let's imagine this is phone book. So we have phone book dot get in bracket. You have to pass the name, which is a key. You will get the number. Awesome, right? So if you know the key, you will get the number. So that's very simple, right? So if you know the, if you know the key, you will get the number. But there's a problem here. The problem is what if you want to print everything start to end? How to do that? Uh, to print all the values, we should know all the keys, right? If you know the, if you know all the keys, you will know all the, all the values. Because in the get method, you have to pass the key, it will give you the value. But question arises, how would we know the key? I want all the keys, right? 
So in this scenario, what if ask map, give me all the keys. Is it possible? Yes. A uh, map has a method called as key set. Okay, which will give you all the keys. Now you have to take the set, iterate the set. So you can use, you can see the code here. So you, you can just iterate the set, okay, with the help of enhanced for loop. And when you iterate, you will get one key at a time, pass that key for the method, which is get, and you will get the value, right? So that's, that's awesome. That's how we can, you can fetch all the values from the map. Uh, so there's, this is one way. The second way is using map entry. Now this is very, this is very interesting. If you are going for a, a Java interview, this is the uh, frequently asked question. What do you mean by Java? Uh, what is, what do you mean by map entry? So entry is the interface in map. Okay. So map is an interface inside that we have interface. So this is a nested interface. Can you imagine interface inside an interface? So that's entry interface inside map interface. Okay. So in your map, you have a method called as entry set. Okay, which will give you the set of entries and what is entry key value pair is one entry. Okay, so you can see we have a map and the first the one box is one entry. So you will get the set of entries and of course you'll be getting the whole hash table right now what you can do you can iterate this set and when you fetch the value one one value, you will not get single string, you will get an entry. And in that entry will be having two things value. Uh, the key and the value right and you can print key and value with the help of get name get key and get value right and that's why this entry map entry interface is so important okay so that's how you can fetch all the elements so this is hash map but what about hash table then what's the difference between hash map and hash table so hash table is same as hash map okay working is almost same but there is some difference uh, hash table is there from 1.0. So it was there from Java. You know, when Java was introduced, hash table was there. What about hash map? It was introduced in 1.2 version. So hash map is new, newer than hash table. Uh, second difference, hash map is not thread safe. Hash table is. Okay, that means every method in hash table is thread safe. Because that, that means they are synchronized in, it, hash map is not synchronized, okay. Uh, of course, when it is not synchronized, which is more faster, of course, hash map is faster than hash table because hash table is synchronized and that's why it is slow. So if you want speed, if you if you know that you're working with only one thread in your application, always go for hash map. But if you're working with multiple threads, at that time, you should work with hash table. Okay, uh, there are some more difference. One, one difference is in hash map, you can have one key, which is null. But in hash table, you cannot have any null keys. Okay, you should have all the elements. Uh, yeah, that's that's the difference between hash map and hash table. Okay, but then we have one more which is linked hash map. The difference this difference is if we talk about hash map and hash table, in both insertion order is not fixed. Okay, it may change, but if you want your order should be fixed, the insertion order should be fixed. Always use linked hash map. Okay. And let's say if you want the hash map, which is in sorted format, uh, you write it guess, we, we, have, uh, we have a tree hash map in which you have all the elements which are already sorted with the help of tree sorting. Okay, so this is all about hash map, hash table, linked hash map and tree map. Uh, again, we'll see the practical of this in the next video. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and do subscribe for, for the videos.